A five-year-old boy was killed in a house fire in Mount Oliver this afternoon. Now investigators are trying to figure out what happened. Paul Martino is live at the scene tonight. Paul. Yeah, the fire marshal uh, just pulling away from the scene some seven hours after this fire broke out. They are boarding up the building. This five-year-old boy uh, is said to be autistic, is said to not speak, had a speaking uh, a difficulty with speaking uh, as the fire broke out both neighbors and first responders making dangerous attempts to rescue the boy with smoke and flames too much later as the day went on neighbors lined the streets here and watch as they remove the boy's body from the fire scene the word spread quickly on anthony street in mount oliver that the little boy who couldn't talk had died in a fire. A sad day I heard that a child passed. Man. It's hard for any parent to have to bury their child. Wish him the best of luck, man. It's real bad. The little boy was, I don't even know what to say. It's just a shame. Neighbors say they could hear the boy's screams. Many made futile attempts to get him out of the burning home. They didn't want us to show their face on camera. Uh, I heard the kid crying, but uh, wasn't able to get up there. Uh, we tried the side window, tried to get him to come to the window. He didn't come to the window, so uh, we tried the best we could. We were just trying to bust out the windows, open the door. The two old, the two men, our husbands, tried to get in, but the floor collapsed, and we wouldn't allow them to go in. As you might expect, many first responders tried to rescue the little boy, too. As a result, many suffered smoke inhalation. At least one was taken to the hospital. They'll all get treated for trauma. The medics uh, units on scene are assisting the local responders uh, later this evening with a critical incident stress debriefing. Meanwhile, neighbors are trying to cope with the image of the five-year-old boy's body being pulled from the charred home. But they brought him out the window, uh, something you don't want to see. We could not get the kid out and uh, just, just a sad day. Now, the child has not been identified yet tonight, and we're not certain. Details still sketchy, but it, it's believed the mother and two other children were able to get out of that burning home, two adjacent homes receiving minor damage. The fire marshal still hasn't uh, said what the cause is. They have told us they don't believe it was suspicious. This is what we know for sure. It's been one very, very sad day here in Mount Oliver. Reporting live, Paul Martino, KDKA-TV News.